and welcome to Paid Leave Oregon. If you are ready to apply for benefits using Francis Online, there are three steps you'll need to take. Step one, tell your employer and gather the information you will need to apply. Step two, create a Francis Online account. And step three, fill out your application and submit verifying documents. Before we begin, know that Francis Online is new. We are updating the application process regularly to make it easier for you to use. So what you see may be a little different from the screens we show you today. Don't worry, the basic steps will be the same. Francis Online is the quickest and easiest way to apply for paid leave. But if you can't access Francis Online, you can send us a paper application or give us a call. Just know that it may take longer for you to receive a response. Step one. Notify your employer and gather the information you will need to apply. You need to tell your employer about your leave at least 30 days before the start date. In an emergency, you can give them 24-hour verbal notice and then follow up with written notice in three days. If you can't show that you told your employer about your leave, paid leave may reduce your first weekly benefit payment by 25%. Next, you'll want to gather the information you'll need to apply. Use the what you need to apply for benefits checklist or our employee guidebook, and you'll have everything you need. You can find these on the resources page at paidleave.oregon.gov. Okay, so you told your employer you need to take leave and you gathered the information you'll need to apply. Let's create a Francis Online account. Step two, go to francis.oregon.gov and you'll see a screen that looks like this. Click on sign up for an online account. This will open a new screen where you'll be able to personalize your account with your contact information, any pronouns, and the way you would like us to communicate with you. One quick tip for the account creation process. To move on from the address screen, you must verify your address. To do that, click on the red Address Not Verified link. A pop-up address search window may appear with some options. We recommend that you choose one of these. Once you verify your address, you'll see a green check mark and be all set. If you have a different address where you'd like to receive mail, you'll also need to verify it. Once you finish creating your account, Francis Online will log you out and send you back to the Francis Online Claimant homepage. Congrats, you've created your Francis Online account. So, you've notified your employer that you plan to take leave, gathered the information to be ready to apply, and created a Francis Online account. The third step is to fill out your application for benefits and submit documents for verification. Step three, when you sign back into your Francis Online account, you'll have to set up a two-step verification process. We only ask that you do this the first time you sign in after setting up your account. Another quick tip, if you click next at any point and Francis Online doesn't move to the next screen, you'll see this pop-up error message, which will let you know what you need to complete so you can move forward. You will need to know what type of leave you're applying for and Francis Online will ask you a few questions to help you decide. You will also need to know if your requested leave is consecutive or intermittent and the expected start date of your paid leave. If you're wondering, consecutive means that you don't work between the start dates and end dates of your leave. Intermittent means that you will work some of the days between the start dates and end dates of your leave. Next, you'll need to verify your identity. There will be a screen that asks you to add an employer that you've worked for during a specific time frame. Use the Add Employer link to search for the employer by the name of the company. After confirming some personal information, Francis Online will ask you about your employment history over the last year. If you've worked in Oregon, you will see a list of employers and you'll need to answer some questions about each one. If some of your employers are missing, you can add them using the Add Employer button. You'll need to find your occupation or the type of work you do for each job. You don't need to find a specific job title, just a category that your job fits in. For example, if I worked in a restaurant as a cook, I would type in cook in the keyword box. In the results box, choose the code for the title that most closely fits the work that you do. In this example, I chose 35-2011, cook, fast food. A pop-up window opens and asks if you're sure you want to select this code. Make sure to click yes. Now you can move on and answer the rest of the questions about this job. You'll need to do this for each job you've had in the last 12 months. 
After you complete your application, Francis Online will take you back to your home screen. If you have messages in the system, you'll see a red circle with a number in it, right next to the Manage My Profile button. Click on Manage My Profile to read them. If there are actions you need to complete, there'll be a red circle with a number in it next to the Action Center. Click on the Action Center to see these tasks. After you submit your application, we'll review your information and verify your identity. This review can take a minimum of two days. You'll also have to upload a document to verify your life event. And we may have some other questions for you. So be sure to check Francis Online, Action Center, and Messages often after you apply for leave so there's no delay. That's it. You notified your employer, gathered the information you needed to apply, you created a Francis Online account, and finally, you completed your application for benefits and submitted verifying documentation. Once your application is approved, paid leave benefits will be on their way. If you need more information, check out our resources page on the paid leave website. If you have any questions or if you want to speak to someone, use one of the contact methods shown here. Accommodations, including interpreters, are available. We really look forward to hearing from you and welcome to Paid Leave Oregon.